Happy Monday. Supposedly, we all have a doppelganger out there, someone who looks li exactly like we do. Now, mine is clearly Aquaman. I mean, twinsies. <laughs> His pecs right. might be a tad bigger, but sure. whatever. <laughs> Anywho, we saw some doppelgangers at NFL games, too. This is the dictionary, and you're looking at, <laughs> Look at that. Wow. the definition wow. of, of doppelganger. Look at they that. They have to be related. Wow. Yeah, right? On the left, Aaron Rodgers. On the right, it's Aaron Rodgers. Freaky. The fake Aaron, though, had a thicker beard. This picture had people doing double takes, too. Texas punter Cameron Johnson looks exactly like comedian Bill Burr. Yeah, he does. Or maybe Bill Burr secretly punts footballs for a second job. <laughs> I mean, not as similar as me and Aquaman, but, but pretty close. Wow. That was just weird. Same day. Uh, so this is skateboarding legend Tony Hawk. Something weird keeps Keeps happening with Hawk. People keep coming up to him and say, "Hey, you look like Tony Hawk," without realizing it's Tony Hawk. Oh my <laughs> goodness! It just again, <laughs> Hawk shared this funny moment on Twitter in a coffee shop. A lady at the counter says, "Hey, has anyone told you you look like Tony Hawk?" He says, "Yes, all the time." She laughs. Here's your coffee. Other lady by exit says, "You really do look like him." The, this lady here also works at the coffee shop and confirms that story is true. Now, at the bottom of the tweet, you probably can't read it, but Hawk says. It happened again, same day, <laughs> no different way. coffee shop. Oh, no way. Number one, Tony Hawk drinks a lot of coffee, apparently. Right? And number two, that is Tony Hawk. If you see him, don't say you look like Tony Hawk because that is Tony Hawk. All right, let's finish up with a mechanical bull. You guys ever tried to ride one of those things? No. It's, it's harder than it looks, Ken. And here's how I know. On Saturday night, mm -hmm. we had our Fox 5 Christmas party at Stoney's Rockin' Country Bar. Several of my adventurous co-workers rode the bull. Or tried to. Yeah, that's producer Matt just struggling to get on the bull. And don't let that mullet fool you. The closest Matt has been to a big cow is the Burger King drive through window. Right. You can see how cocky he was, though. And then we fast forward a few seconds. It's barely moving, and he just falls off. <laughs> Come on, Matt. Here's producer Amy. Much yeah, better than Matt. Yeah, yeah. you go, Amy. Amy. She's hanging on for dear life. She rode that bull for... I don't know, 30 seconds, which was 25 longer than Matt lasted. We have some brave producers here, Fox Yes, Fox. Amy. Anyway, yeah, there she goes. She's trying to put her hand up. She's trying to do it the right yes. way. <laughs> anyway, hey, thanks to Stoney's for hosting our Christmas party again. We always have a great time out there. And so much riding fun. Riding that mold. It's harder than it looks. It really is. Yes. I've tried myself, too, in years past. I, I have as well. And it was I was one and done and haven't been back on since. So. Same. I think my hip is still sore from my crash landing. Mm, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, great. Like you said, thanks to Stoney's. Uh, Dave, yeah. you came up with this idea back in 2019 to coincide with NFR. And uh -huh. man, was it a good time Saturday. It's always a good time out there. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Sure.